This is the Topwater Frog Only Day of Fishing. It's 104 degrees outside and I know you guys are thinking, there is no way that these fish want to eat a topwater frog. And you're probably right. But the question is, can we still get them to bite? Not only did we catch a ton of fish in today's video, but we found the monsters. That's good, dude. Net, net. Oh my God. Give me the net, baby. Oh my God. We got the top water frog only day of fishing right here. Got a pop and pickle on. You guys know that's my favorite. Got it paired up on my Kicking Their Bass TVX Loose Combo. If you guys want to check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. It'll be linked down below. I appreciate anybody and everybody who supports the brand. Got the boy Aiden in the back. What's going on, bro? You gotta give me, I know you're operating, but you gotta give me a knuckle touch. Me and Aiden came out last week, earlier this week. Ended up smoking the fish and uh, caught a lot of fish on big worms. But we promised you guys that we would come out with some topwater frogs and the topwater only videos i have to live and die by the topwater aiden you can do whatever you want if you want to throw a big i know you got some big swim baits if you want to throw a swim bait you can but i have to live by the frog guys that means i'm only allowed to throw a frog today so we're going to be fishing around this beautiful lake and uh seeing if we can catch some big ones when i came out here a couple days ago i got a six pounder so Pretty excited to see if we can beat that today. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. We're gonna hunt around with these frogs and see what we can catch. Just had a huge storm blow through. We had to wait in the car for about an hour and uh, hopefully these bass bite. So let's go ahead and hop right into it and uh, catch some big ones. I wanna see that big fish that came up in the pads the other day. What would you say, about eight, nine pounder? He was huge, yeah. We know they're in here. We just gotta catch them. I love nothing more than skipping frogs under trees, boys. There's not much room for me to get under these, but we're gonna see some awesome frog skips today. Also, a ton of lily pads in this lake. We went back in a little cove the other day, and that's where we had like four frogfish back to back to back. I mean, they were like loaded in there and there was a lot of bait. So hopefully we get back in there and catch some more of those fish. I mean, they were just stacked. But as I say in every video, this frog, I tend to work a little aggressive and a little fast. How would you guys work it? I always ask y'all that. How would, how would you guys be working a frog today if you were here fishing? Leave your comments down below. I love to see how other people work their baits. See, I, I tend to slow it down sometimes. But right now we're just kind of moving. I want to see if we can even get some bites on it. So I'm gonna start pretty fast. If we have to slow down, then that's what I'll do. I know Noah's only throwing the frog today, but I'm going for a 10 pounder. So I'm whipping out the big old swim bait. Are we doing a little big fish tournament too? Oh, yeah. You wanna do another little, little big fish deal? We did a little big fish in the worm video, guys. And the first fish I caught happened to be the biggest one all day. So who knows? We got high hopes. He's probably gonna end up catching like a dang 12 pounder on that. No, no. This evening, this bank, this whole bank should be. Oh, there he is. Oh, this one, bait. Big swim bait. Is that a giant? I can't tell. Oh, oh that's a good fish. That's a really good fish. Yeah. I can't believe you got a bite on that before I got one on the front. That was <laughs> sick, dude. He came out of nowhere. Heck yeah. Aiden's on board here. You can land him. Not a bad one. A three pounder. Die, baby. Yes, sir. Get his big butt up in here. Yes, sir. Listen. Oh, three pounder. Sorry, three pounder. <laughs> yeah, we'll call him three. That was a good fish. Not our frog bass that I was wanting, boys, but I'm surprised you got a bite before I did on a frog. That's pretty crazy. You got a swipe Well, that's the start, dude. Just get something rolling, you know? Just keep it moving, boys. You know, like when you first spool up a, a real fluoro and then you set the hook or like you try to pull the drag and the line like digs deep into it. You go to cast and it's just so dug in there, it gets stuck. Yeah. And I, uh, so every time I spool up a reel, I like, tie it to a pole, I'll walk out the line and I'll crank it down to where the line stays tight. Having your drag coming out smooth is a big thing because that's all you do is play drag. Can't horse a big fish with 12 pound line. That's a giant, dude. No, it ain't. It's a good fish, though. That's like a four pound. No way. You're getting on that, dude. He's barely hooked. Heck yeah. He's got the front leg. He came right off in the Oh, bed. he just snagged himself. A little two pounder, man. Dude, I thought it was little a little big one, son. He, he scared me. Oh, dude. Look at his side. Poor buddy. 
Oh, this one bait fish, two pounder, maybe. All right, guys, this is, this is some prime territory. That'd be the one time I get eaten. Some prime water boys. We just ain't getting bots yet. It's gonna happen. Oh, he's schooling. He's schooling under the boat, bro. Throw your swim bait next to the boat. He ain't even that big. I thought he was big. Oh, baby. <laughs> That was crazy. Well, there we go, boys. We are on board with our little frog only adventure. Even though Aiden back there is cheating. It's all good though. Hey, I can think everybody watching does not mind seeing you catch a fish on that. You know what I mean? But that was a crazy blow up, man. What's wild about that is I literally was talking about, I'm like, I don't know what's going on. And then boom, kaplunk. That was really weird how that fish decided to pop by the boat. Yeah. I gotta try one more time, bro. I got a weird feeling about it. I feel like out of all the spots I casted at in the last 30 minutes, that probably, it looks good, but I've casted in better. Oh, yeah. Well, we on board. Can't complain with that. Not a big one, but hey, she's a start. That's all we wanted, just something to sniff us. And that blow up was not soft, so that might, might be a good sign. That's one thing I pay attention to is just how the fish are biting. And that one was pretty mad. That was a mad bass. Hey, you impressed the old medium heavy action boy? When we were making it, I, t I told him, I was like, I want it, like I want it to be a medium heavy, but I still want it to have a little stronger backbone. Cause we made this to throw really anything. I mean, I threw all my frogs on this, even in Pat, I mean, you saw that, it, it got them out like it was nothing. Oh! Normally I'll worm this whole bank down and then I'll frog back the evening, but we did worms the other day. Oh my god, that was a big one, dude. Dude, he at, that's a good one, dude. Net, net, net. That's a big one, dude. That's a big one. That's a giant, dude. Here we go, baby. Here we go, baby. Get him a good, oh baby. Oh my god, it's a stud, son. Oh my gosh. Let's go, dude. Dude, that's a big swimming fish right there. Look at that, baby. Oh my goodness. Aiden, hold that puppy up. You might have got big fish today, just maybe. Oh my goodness, <laughs> bro. That is ridiculous. All right, what's your guess? Six and a quarter. Six okay. And a quarter. I think six and a half. I don't, I don't know. He is a little skinny. But do you see the length on that fish, bro? Yeah, it's it's just... 22. Stop it. It's a meatball. Zero drop. Let's see what we got. Oh, six yeah. and a half. Six and a half, baby. Six, five, four. What a tank, brother. Good freaking fish. It's a big swim bait fish right there. Even so. though you're cheating, man, I still got to cheer you on. <laughs> as long as it ain't wacky, man. Hey, yeah, no, I agree. I think the swim bait we can live by. You know what I mean? We can do that. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Big girl. Wow. That's such a long fish. There she goes. Good job, brother. That was awesome. There we go, boys. There's our big fish leader, a 654. That beats my big one the other day. That's a freaking tank. Now, if we can just let the sun come down a little bit more, guys, and get these big ones. Dude, that looks so good, bro. My fish senses are just tingling right now. Okay. Ooh, thanks, bird. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a wet one. My dad has horrible luck with birds. <laughs> I'd rather just catching them. And Trucks pooping on getting the pooped. His truck will get pooped on. He'll get pooped on. Bro, you should have seen the amount of geese. The, the, my my backyard was the geese capital this spring. My buddy Owen, he duck hunts. We'll let him see that. He'll find a way to get in there. <laughs> to be honest. He's invited because I don't want, <laughs> you should see the dang backyard, bro. They pooped so many dang times. I can't even walk in my backyard. Now it, it kind of disappeared. I walked back there earlier today. I guess it's biodegradable here. You know, it'll disappear after a while. Yeah, I rolled it down there. I, oh, I just got nailed, dude. No way, dude. Dude, he swore on He missed it. Guys, I know uh, this is a frog-only episode for your boy, but I'm actually happy Aiden's throwing that big swim bait because this frog bite just hasn't turned on quite yet. We're just, we just got to be patient. Like, we're, we're scrambling for bites on this frog right now, but I think when we get in the right spot, it's going to be game over. Oh, 
Oh, he's still gator right there too. He hit you again? Not that time, that was grass. Hey, them grass bites feel good. They do on a rough day. Sometimes the best bites I have are the grass bites, man. I'm not proud of it, but it feels pretty good. All right, boys, fasten your seat belts. We hear the frogs coming out now. It's what we've been waiting for all day. Aiden actually picked up his frog rod. He's ready. See this whole cove, a lot of shade. You can tell the temperature just cooled off a little bit. Feels good. They're foggy. Oh, we missed it. Ah, he was really small, but I like tried not to set the hook because I knew he missed it, but I still did. I think that's been part of my problem, guys. I've been working a little too fast, which we have been just moving, covering water, and I tend to just kind of get caught up in the moment. Sometimes my patience is, my patience is like very good, but sometimes I like to fish way too fast. imagine that replay from last time hey. dude that was insane oh my gosh the boat's thing going by and that just really happened that was pretty crazy he ate us right literally right at the boat he was just trying to get through this canal he kind of has to go a little quick and that fish just slammed it right at the boat that was pretty crazy oh look at the bait it's back here bro oh my gosh he missed it he, he hit you as i didn't even like move it Oh, watch out. <laughs> Bro, my life flashed before my eyes, Aiden. Oh my gosh. Was that going right for my face? Yeah, it was definitely close. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I, that was slow motion. Hey, at least you got a bite. <laughs> Man, I put every ounce into that fish. I'll put every ounce into my face. <laughs> Guys, this is where we came back and we had three fish. I mean, in the matter of five minutes, there was a lot of bait, just how there is today. These fish were... Not only in these pads, but they were up on this grass edge. Should be able to get a couple to bite here. Right there, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Hey, it's a giant. <laughs> hey, any frog bite's fun though. Maybe they don't like the pickle today, man. Maybe the pickle's just like scaring them. A little, little intimidation. <laughs> I'm convinced that they're scared of this pickle. I might have to put on just a, a standard. I might tie it on. I mean, I've only had, what, one bite? You had two in a couple minutes. Also, you know how like you were talking about the backside, guys? Really is only what matters, but this one actually has the same print. Yeah. I'm telling you, it might be the frog. We're actually gonna cut this off and tie on just all white popping frog. So I've only had one bite all day. That's not common for the pickle. Here we go, boys. Just a standard white popping frog pretty basic let's see if this helps our bets also the one that aiden's throwing is not a popping frog it might just be a little too much for him but i mean he threw it for 10 minutes and had two bites three bites either the color or the subtleness or something we'll try this white one see what we can do oh dude i got a giant chasing me look at that dude he came out from right oh just burning it Not There's one. I saw that. That was sick. This one is? Yeah, right out in the middle. <laughs> dude, I gotta start throwing this thing more. That's another. Dude, look how skinny he is. He's really long. Dude, I'm so under that tree. Oh, there he goes. Nice. Quick release. You're getting just as so many bites as if we were throwing like a standard bait. Like, not even like a big. It's fun bait like that. That's pretty crazy. Here are the frogs now. Gotta mean something. Well, oh, didn't mean to knock his door. I meant to slip right in there. Yeah. Like I might have just ruined my opportunity. There we go. You know that blow up's gonna sound insane if he did. Good? I'm pretty sure it's a big one. Yep. Yeah. 
Come on, baby. Get out of there. Get out of there, baby. Come on. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, Aiden. Hey, that's how you want to eat it, too, Bubba. Is it time, Aiden? Oh, yeah. Is it time? There we go, baby. That's how you want to eat a frog. Good three pounder there. Can't complain with those, can we? Aiden's over here just, you know, boat flipping casual sixes, but <laughs> we'll take a three all day. That's a fun frog fish. Thank you, baby. Here we go, son. That was a good bite too, man. I've only had two bites today, but the bites have been just electric. They're not playing with it, you know? Oh, dude, something just moved under that tree. It's a gator, never mind. Little guy. That's a big ass, bro. I thought it was a dang gator, dude. I don't think so. He barely hooks. I barely hook set him, but oh my gosh, dude, I really thought that was a gator, so I didn't want to hook set. No, that's, nah, that's, that's a four boy. pounder. Yes, sir, boys. That was probably the most casual frog hook set that you'll ever see from me. I didn't see the gator, but I knew he was near there. He like went underwater, so I was like, man, of course the gator would eat it. There we go, boys. Good four pounder, close to it. He's probably a high three, but we'll take him. It's a good one, ain't it? Oh yeah. Thank you, baby. You're beautiful. Noah's finally getting on board and got a couple nice frog bass. Can't complain. What's that? That's coaching. It really has. That's something to talk about too, guys. I mean, I threw that pop and pickle the whole time. I have just so much confidence in it. And I catch so many big fish on it that it's just a frog that I love to throw. And you didn't tie this one on. It's a regular brown frog. Got a little bit of yellow on the front, white on the bottom. That's really what you got to focus on is the bottom color. His is not a popping frog either. That pop and pickle is just super aggressive. But I did bring out this standard white frog and it's been just a game changer for us. But yeah, we're going to keep on hunting, guys. I went from just having one bite the whole day to a three and a four pounder back to back. So maybe we're on to something, not only with the color, but just the time of day. I was about to see that ding grass. He didn't have it all the way. You see how that grass mixes in with the pads? Golly. Here we go, dude. You ready? That last bite I had was just so, like that pause in between. A lot different. It's different than what I've been doing for sure. You think they would get more aggressive as the sun went down, but maybe that's how they've been wanting it. It's been a little too much. Dude. I mean, I was kind of like reeling in and drop, just letting it pause in the little crevices. I will tell you, we had two bites in here though. It's a good sign. They're just waiting on that eight pounder to eat us, you know? I was like reeling it over the pads. I would, I would pause it for a second. And then when I get in the hole, just kind of let it sit and pop it once. And kind of reel it over like that. Boom, pop. Those grass have crazy amount of ticks in them, dude. It's ridiculous. Really? Hundreds of them. I'll put my kayak through sometimes. I don't know anymore, but when I would, dude, I feel some like my whole legs just like came out. I look down, there's hundreds of them. I jumped off my kayak and like scrubbed off in the lake. Uh, Can't do it. Oh, my rod's flying on my hand. Oh, my doctor just really? dropped my rod. I was not ready for that. He's really been up in there. Look how dark he is. It's like an Ogeechee bass. Frogs just woke up. Maybe that's a dinner bell for the bass. All right, it's time, boys. Load up. Start buying the frog. Elastic material, like making frogs like that material. That stuff, like, did not going to be very easy. Bro, what? How did, did you see how long I had to reel in there? So guys, we haven't really talked about, you know, what we're doing. So now that the sun started going down, we're hoping this frog bite's gonna pick up. You know, this leak. <laughs> he acted so big. <laughs> I just hated it. <laughs> Don't pull it. Hey, that was just payback, yeah. you know? What I was saying is uh, we're hoping this pad bite's gonna turn on. It definitely has. We're getting way more bites. We definitely have a lot of smaller bites recently. But you can tell this bite's finally heating up. The sun's gone down. This fish are biting in the pads pretty good. You know, you can really throw anywhere and everywhere in these pads, but what I like to look for, and I can tell Aiden's looking for too, is anything that has slight separation. That's what he's looking for. And on the bank, you'll, you'll notice like you'll have pads all the way, and then all of a sudden you have a little transition to just a small patch of grass right here i'm a little to the to the left 
But to the right of me, there's a little hole and that's usually where I would go. Cause you want to have a little bit of water to work your frog. Right there is definitely the thickest part, but you see right there to the left, how there's a little hole and that's what I'm targeting. Boom, right here. So you're still getting the luxury of going through the pads, but you're able to work that frog a little bit more and it gives the bass more opportunity to eat it. If you're throwing just in the thick stuff, just like this, where I'm only able to ride the, the frog on top. I know you guys have probably seen some clips of crazy bass just come up and eat it, but some days it's not always like that. You know, that's something to think about when you're fishing this, to kind of get it in some of these open holes and that's how we're getting these bites right now. I feel like we're gonna find one of these patches that just, we're gonna slam a couple big ones. So this is exactly what I was talking about guys right here you had all these pads and now you got this little transition where you got a lay down or not even a lay down a hangover and then you got a little stretch of grass and you still got pads mixed in but those transition points like right here you got the pads mixed in there should be a fish right there and then another good cast Aiden will probably do it right yeah right on that corner right where that grass meets the pads again that's just a good little zone have you ever seen under a pad next time you, you're by a pad pick it up flip it over put your hand on it or put whatever bait perfect shadow of your hand when i used to fish like a lot of those tournaments and we we're fishing frogs i would sometimes let it sit on the pad and most people would think oh the bass is just they felt the movement of it but they can see it too they can see through it then when you pull it off sometimes you'll get slammed yeah there we go buddy Finally got him a stay pin. I missed three fish to catch this Twinkie, but I'll take him, man. It's a beautiful fish. Cool bite. Oh, pretty fish, not giant. But that was a fun bite. I think this last like 30 minutes of daylight here might be prime, boys. So do not click off the video. Watch till the end. Into the honey hole. Look how amazing this looks. We're ready for a seven pounder on the frog. There's a time to throw it, it's right now. We just gotta be patient. Dude. Hey bro, that, that's just too good, man. Not even right for them not to bite me there. Oop. That was really big, whatever bull behind me. Something was very large right there. Right there. Come on, baby, just hit me. That's him. That's him. That's a giant boy. Can't believe I got him out of those pads. Um, I can't tell how big he is. He might just be like a four. He ain't even that big. You dang three. It's so dark out here. It's a good fish, though. Look at how he ate it. That's the bite we've been waiting on. Look at that, boys. That's what we're talking about. Choking that frog. I will say I've only caught like five or six on the frog, but I feel like half of them have been. It's like really small. Yeah, it's like not getting many small bites. Here we go, guys. We got a little bit more daylight. Let's see if we can pop a couple more off like that. That was an awesome bite. Maybe we're finding the zone. He's right where he should have been though. That back edge of pads. That money zone. I'm about to say yeah. Oh, dude, no way. I was sitting here reeling it in like a dummy. I was looking at you. Like something came off that grass. Some of those best ones there are between five and seven pounds. Yeah. they has got a little more oop to them, you know? They yeah, I was like, like that. That was a horrible like upset. That. Is that another big one? I don't think so. There's a three on it. <laughs> He, that, he, he is thick, son. Hey, he's been up in that grass. Look at the color on him. Dark. Dude, I had to hook set like the non-dominant side. <laughs> yeah. I hate when that crap happens. Here we go, Bubba. This is it. We're, we're about to heat up. This is about to be a left here. Feel it. Those last two bites were how you want them to eat it. All right, boys, here it goes. This is our juice hole we've been waiting to hit the whole time. Old money corner. Come on. Oh, he had it, but like he didn't have it. So he just pulled it down. Do you see how soft that was? Yeah. I saw it go under. He just must have had the tail of it, you know. There he is right there.
called it. I can't do. That's a really good fish. Slip or die, baby. He's probably almost 40, dude. He's thick. Yes, sir. Let's see what you got, bro. Yes, sir. Oh, oh. Go. The smackdown, that was a cast. What a good fish. Dude, look how fat he is. Look at that gun. He's thick. The last one was super fat too. You notice one thing, dude? All three times, you're on the left side of the dang pads. Oh, heck yeah. Oh. Yes, sir. Dude, they are just smoking it now. It's dark. That's, that's, that's another good one, dude. Another freaking three pounder. Boys, they are freaking munching now that it's just got dark. Total change in pace. Of course, this one we can barely see. Look how thick that fish is, bro. He's a long. That is a good one. Probably a three and a quarter. Dude, he hit it like so soft that I barely even noticed. It's crazy how a white switch just turned on. Yeah, I didn't even see it. I just saw the hook snap. Oh, yeah, what baby. Is going on? What is going I'm... on, bro? What you got, Aiden? Oh giants, my god. Probably like 12 pounders. I think it's about 13. 